It is quiet now. The subtle sounds of vendors and organs and plaintive cries from nearby dugouts are the background music. Pete or Don or Joe or Chip, whoever sits to the left, has set the stage and it is quiet now. Two to one Braves. Two outs in the ninth inning. Tying run down at second. The furious mind of Skip Carey churns and we await that caustic irreverent quip that takes minutes to arrive. We know it will come. It has all these many decades after all. It is the magnificent tableau that is broadcast baseball where silence can be deafening. The Magnificent Seven are warming up in the bullpen and will be with you as soon as Leonard hits into a 6-4-3. Six, four, three. Ah, oh, well, win, win, win. We have listened for so many years that we can nearly read his cluttered, churning mind. But it is quiet now. Forever. For Skip Carey is gone. The voice is silent. Voice to corners of America that will shed tears of sadness and celebration. He was, you see, their bridge to a peaceful time when, with the farm work done, they could sit and enjoy a faraway pastime. There's a fly ball, deep right field! Back goes O'Neill! He's at the wall! Braves lead! Braves lead! Braves lead! I gotta borrow it from you, Dad! Holy cow! His was a rewarded life in so many ways, rewarded with a family of immense proportions, rewarded with a career that took him from the very depths to the very mountaintop. When the Braves were truly awful in his early seasons, he told his audience so. And when they were brilliant later in his career, oh my, did he tell them that too. Swung line drive left field, one run is in. Here comes Bream, here's the throw to the plate. He is safe, Braves win, Braves win, Braves win, Braves win, Braves win. Voice two. For a few of us lucky enough to have clung to his ample coattails as if the promised land was just beyond his gaze. We called him that, in fact, just voice, for he was. We knew his time was short. He told all of us that in recent months. He had some of us convinced last year, in fact, that it was only a matter of days. Those of us who traveled with him over the years, who shared the good life, knew that 68 years, while terribly short for most, was Olympian for him. It is quiet now. There will be no retort, no subtle reply, no wicked crack that brings a cringing smile. But like the quiet of a baseball broadcast, we can suspect what is coming, we can imagine, and we will hear him for all time. So long, everybody.